Hey, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here. Today what we're going to do is use some of the tools that I've shown and do a job here. Uh, we're up on location at the camper, another place. We got a mower here that needs some blades put on it. And uh, we want to see what the Milwaukee Stubby will do, uh, taking the blades off <coughs> and just getting these blades replaced. So come on, follow along. So first off, we're going to use our jack stands, and we're going to jack this baby up. So uh, let me get you down there, we'll get this set up, and then we'll go. So let's go in the middle here, and we'll do it that way. Okay, I think we're all the way up. Um, I didn't bl block the back wheels. Woohoo! But I'm going to. And of course, I'm going to get some blocks from them wheels because you see it's a little wobbly. So we'll go do that. So we got her blocked up now a little bit. We'll leave her down to put the pressure on our blocks here. jack back up for a little bit of stability I'd be a little more careful if it was a car but being that it's a riding mower if it falls on me well it probably won't kill me right so I think maybe you can see that blade over there it got a little bit of a benzy bosey in it uh, the one over there, it's not supposed to be leaning down quite like that. So that's why we got new blades for this sucker. I hope they're the right blades. I just, uh, let me pull some of this freaking, this poor thing. We've been using it for a freaking rota chopper. So it's no wonder that uh, it doesn't last. But all right, let's come over here. And we'll see if we can get this bolt out. I couldn't get it out before just with a adjustable but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my stubby I'm hoping it'll fit under here and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens so I know this is not an impact socket this is actually a socket out a 3 8 inch drive socket out of a um, uh, oil filter cap uh, socket set to take off a cap for some canister type oil filters on vehicles but we're gonna try it anyhow and man it just just fits so let's see what happens <laughs> perfection that is awesome friggin awesome let's get this gunk out of here and while we're set up we'll go see if we can get the other one off Man, I'll tell you right. I'll tell you what. Right tool for the job makes a world of effing difference. I mean, difference. All right. Nice, new, shiny blades. They're made a little different, but they said they would work on this mower. So we want to make sure we get that up there on that. Want to make sure we get it fitted up there on that star right. Because it has a little star pattern. This thing will mow like she never mowed before, by golly. Oh, come on. Put one of those jacks under here to hold the blade. Alright, want to make sure we get it up on the star now.
All right. We'll put her to the proper torque here in a minute. Once we grab my old stubby. I'd say that's good. Even turns. Friday's bearings took a little bit of a hit too, so oh well. That's the way it goes. Alrighty, let's do the other side. Alright, we'll get this one started. Make sure you stay on that little star pattern. How? Alright. There it went on. Okay. Seems like proper torque to me. Alrighty. So let's get her off the blocks now quick. We'll whoop a hair. She becomes very unstable at this point. Now let's leave her down quick. Like I said, if this was a car, we did a little, a little different, a little scary. Ah, uh, there's Miss Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania cooking mowing. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh man, that's a much nicer job. Much nicer job. Yep. Still sound a little noisy, I can tell you that, but that's good. You can kill it. All right. So we got the mower blades changed out. Everything seems to run good. There was a slight other problem that we're going to have to fix, but we didn't get into that. Uh, so that was giving the little stubby its first workout for me, which was really no big project. But, you know, those nuts were on tight. And just with the, the actual Milwaukee stubby and the Astro uh, micro or short sockets, that worked awesome. And, and it saved time. I mean, there's, I know there's other ways you can do it, but when you have the, the tools to do it the quick way, it just seems so much better. So anyhow, this is Mike, the Disgruntled Mechanic, saying, hey, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, come back next time. See ya.